question and answers session khizr and kabir when i had spoken on lala ji a question was asked may i ask if khizr and kabir are the same power only given different names in different religions as it is said that kabir appeared to many people at a time when he was supposed to have left his body it is said that kabir appeared from nowhere to dharmdas dadu garib das some 300 years after it is supposed that kabir had left the body it is said kabir appeared in all four ages iron copper silver and golden age his birth was unique he is said to have been born to a hindu brahman and brought up by nuru and neema who were weavers by profession also his death was unique It is said after Kabir died a controversy arose among Muslims and Hindu faction and each wanted to cremate the body according to their tradition It is said when the white cloth covering the body was removed only flowers were found in place of the body According to Kabir Panthi Kabir appeared to king of Bukhara however according to Attar and Maulana Rum Jalaluddin Rumi it was his that appeared to king of Bukhara so could it be the same power or it is just the stories that have arrived due to the likeness of the name of Khizr and Kabir this question is a long one almost like whatever be the nature many things have to be explained in order to unravel this mystery it is not mystery it's something which is be clouded by our intelligence it is like if a little child wants to know about the thrills of the married life it will appear as if it has been be clouded it is the mystery the reason is there is no physical maturity and she does not the child does not have the antenna that she can connect and experience that so what is more important is to bring the maturity change the level of consciousness that you can begin to experience these on one's own in this light i am going to speak on these aspects and recently one of the articles of lala ji the image was posted and when i had made my comments this morning a part of that was put into was posted in on my timeline which i will explain further so such interaction becomes beneficial for the sake of the seekers all around what i had understood when it is said lala ji spoke on devta a famous article it was clear to me what he would have mentioned in that article that he used the language of the time the urdu arabic and persian in which he was well versed for me these languages with a few exceptions here and there are like latin and greek but i can understand the essence and put it into a language which can be understood by many first of all let me go into 
the esoteric concept of a broader aspect, Khizr, and all Khizr is used in Islamic tradition, Narad is used in Hindu tradition, and Paramans Yoganand is spoke and vision this in the form of Yukteswagiri and things like these. There has been a concern about achieving the physical longevity so that the concept of actual physical immortality becomes possible and it is a huge new age issue in the face of global deteriorating environment. Therefore, there is a speculation on the possible residence of the earth and secret physical immortals is increasing as their possible identifications and even how and where to locate such superhuman achievers to obtain their help. The entire possibility is also confused by many schools and traditions on the planet where occult adept learn to materialize their etheric energy double and function for the period of time as an apparently virtual physical person even after the death of their outer physical body as has happened in case of Kabir as happened in case of Kisra Islam. Paramans Yoganand describes meeting with a materialized double of his Guru Sri Yukteswar Guru after the death of the physical body of that adapt Sid means one who has attained to certain powers, his Guru. Sri Yukteswar gives Yoganand an inspiring lecture talk on inner planes and worlds of existence. Then he dematerialized his quasi-physical body and in the, a present-day modern writer modern good man in his book I was Carlos Castaneda gives an incredible account of an encounter at his home with a materialized etheric energy body of Carlos Castaneda after the physical death of Carlos these are available and this happened in America most people think Martin Goodman has made up this story to get even with Mother Mira for condemning his homosexuality. But it could be a true story in the light that Carlos Castaneda had received vocal training in learning to control and consolidate his atheric energy double. This is the modern term used to manifest or materialized. There is in spite of actual and possible materializations of occult adults, the evidence of truly biological physical immortals dwelling in hidden secluded places on earth. In the book Maharaji by T. S. Anant Murti. It is said how Maharaj, who himself extended his life to 185 years, encountered a genuine physical immortal who had been living on cow's milk for 5,000 years. I myself have read obscure articles of on ancient Vedic religions 
In Tibetan legends, there are many stories. It is reported that in ancient time, the teachings of Shambhala were updated by an infusion of the teachings of Somnath, who had been preserving them for some time. Now, for the present purpose, the possibility that Padma Sambhav is a real physical immortal in addition to being a world champion, athletic energy double materializer, known in certain parts of Mexico. Such adepts are very strong, but what connection the death defier might maintain with Duvedi, Somnath or other physical immortals remains unknown. For the vast majority of ordinary mortals on earth, these very issues and possibilities are of their cognitive map or reality model. Even when they adhere enthusiastically to this or that occult or spiritual school of thought, let us look at the book of Carlos Castaneda. When we look at Carlos Castaneda freaks, we know that their center of gravity is that of being personal power mongers, social selves who want to show off as independent expert on certain aspects. Their hero is John Dunn, the teacher of Carlos Castaneda. He, John did not like the death defier, who he considered to be a sort of indulgent and tricky individual who was not to be trusted. For ordinary Nagul, the aim of Nagul's seership is to first learn to materialize the etheric energy double, which seems to make the biological physical body redundant and then at the real time drop the physical body by burning with the fire from within. And one should note it is important that South India there have been certain traditions where physical body is burned through the fire of Kundalini and sometimes also turning it into Shivalingam, the phallic symbol. Yogis in the cave in South India often have many of these yogi adept bodies that were left as reduced to lingam after burning with Kundalini fire. At any rate, John obviously did not aspire to learn from the death defier how to be a death defier. Hence, Castaneda freaks do not generally aspire to become like the death defier. So they concentrate on their magical passes exercise and wear funny looks on their face as if they are becoming powerful and important. As for understanding of Padma Sambhav, the Tibetan master and Tibetan Buddhist tradition that just represent the revival of the culture of Chogam for the most part of their mind. Even it is admitted that Padma Sambhav was still alive and operating somewhere in Latin America, but he also created the idea of seeker attempting to contact with whatsoever kind of individual Padma Sambhav has made himself lately into North America. Chogam Trungappa freaks were taught to concentrate on their emotions and avoid 
serious stories that transcend petty dogmatic identification with Tibetan teachings and culture. Things like these go on. Let us not go into too much of these things. Let me explain this in a simple understanding of me. Kabir, we know happened at a certain time in the history. But he had attained a certain level and because of his meditative insights, he could transcend the body. The Shirdi Sai Baba had the similar energy field when it is necessary. But in certain aspects, when there is in a modern day-to-day -day terminology, when there is an emotional connectivity, as happened in case of the mother and the child, if there happens to be a pain to the child, the mother intuitively feels that. It is said that Sai Baba lived in a mosque and he had a disciple who was living five miles away. Every day he will bring the food for Sai and when Sai Baba has eaten the food, he will rush back to his home and eat, have eat the food, but that too before the sunset. So one day it happened that Baba said that there is no need to come here in the heat, rain, in winter. I will come instead to your place to share the meals with you. The man became very happy and he said, okay, so next day he cleaned the house, prepared the meals, but it did not happen. I am cutting short this story. So a dog came and dog sat down in front of the door and at us looking for the food. The man tried to chase the dog. And when there is a dog or something like that, we try to pretend to start speaking the language as if dog understands your language and gestures. He tried to chase the dog, but dog did not move away from there. So he took the stick and hit the dog. When they hit the dog, disappeared. He waited, but Sai did not come. So he took the food and rushed down to the place. And there, to his utter surprise, he saw Sai Baba was sitting with his back bare, with marks of the, the stick beating, the red marks, and he was getting a treatment done. So the man got very worried and he said, what happened to this? He said, I went by somebody's place. The person chased me and beat me with a stick. Then the man realized, he said, but I beat the dog. So what had happened through the same system that modern language explains, Sai Baba manifested himself, manifested his energy field on the dog that was available in the neighborhood. And it does happen sometimes you are in the thoughts of someone and all of a sudden you look around and you feel the subtle presence of that person or you find that someone resembling that person is standing next to you. It does happen and each one of you might have experienced knowingly or unknowingly somewhere in the life events like these. So the, the difference between Kabir and Khizr, Khizr 
is the mystical helper of the seekers around the path. In Hinduism, this concept is known by Narad. Maulana Rum Jalaluddin Rumi says, if you would be acquainted with genesis, drop the letter and behold this, the spirit. Direct exposition of a spiritual theme is avoided in holy scriptures of most of the religions. The glare of the sun is too strong and binding for the watery eyes. If one wishes to have a view even of the penumbra, one must use colored glasses. Direct facts are misleading and confusing to ordinary men. Esoteric writers and speakers have all along closed reality in many hued garb so that those who have eyes can see. The stories of Nanak disappearing in River Bain, the story of Khizr al-Islam appearing at the doorstep of Lalaji's mother, these are the ways to say, to explain the subtle aspects which cannot be put into the words otherwise. So the story is woven. It is said, whether it happened in case of Nanak or Lalaji is not important. The message, the underlying message behind these is very important. Jesus spoke in parables. He even said that pearls should not be thrown before swine. Common people not realizing the drift of argument may go astray. Krishna does not speak his truth in their simple nakedness. It requires a certain amount of leavening in one's temperament to grasp the facts. The leavening implies fermentation of feelings to the proper degrees in addition to training of the intellect. We are dealing with esoteric side of Islam when it comes to Israel Islam. If Islam is denuded of esotericism, it becomes a mere skeleton of formalities like any other religion which people of a rationalistic turn of mind would accept only as formalities. Unless this skeleton is closed with flesh and real beauty of Islam, real beauty of Islam cannot be appreciated. In Quran, the final testament, the story of the messenger Moses and the mysterious green man, because green is the color of Sufis, Green man, Khizral is a central subject of much esoteric concentration. It is a much loved episode by mis mystics of Islam because it encapsulates many layers of hidden meanings and also a proof of hakikat, the truth and testament for the need of guide to learn esoteric dimensions, something which is apparently hidden from human cognition. There is a particular Sufi story of Maujud. Maujud means one who is available to the moment. And in order to explain that, this particular moment is given a human form. There was a name called Maujud who was always available to the moment and he encounters Khizr as the mysterious guide. I will take that story at another time. Moses asked God whether there was any person more, more knowing than himself and he was directed to go to Khizr his is believed to have drunk of the life of water, the water of life and become immortal. 
He is the mortal guide of the bees. Moses and Hizr, the green man, and Moses with his servant Joshua proceeded to the place where two seas met. When they arrived at the place, they forgot the fish which they bought for their dinner, and fish took it very freely and jumped into the sea. When Moses called for dinner, Joshua told him that what had happened. They returned to the place from where the fish has jumped into the sea. Here Moses met his and requested to be allowed to follow him, that thou mayest teach me part of that which thou hast been taught. His answered, Verily thou couldst not bear with me, for how couldst thou patiently suffer those things? The knowledge thereof thou dost not comprehend. Moses replied, Thou shalt find me patient if God please. This is from the Holy Quran, Surah Khaf. Then there happened three incidents, and in every one of them, his acted contrary to common sense of apparent normality, how an ordinary person would act. He made a boat of poor man to render it imperfect. He slew a young man and he repaired a ruined wall of an old house apparently without asking any profit in exchange. In all the cases, Moses could not comprehend outer meaning, and every time he challenged his using his intellect. On the third occasion, his said, Enough and explained to Moses the inner reality of the three incidents. He concluded, saying, And I did not what thou hast seen of mine own way. But by God's direction, this is the interpretation of what thou could not bear with patience. There are many esoteric narratives of meeting between his and Moses. His met Moses at the junction of the two seas. And what are the two seas? Love and humanity. The unmanifest and manifest, which according to Hindus is Nirgun and Sagun, the formless and formful, or exoterism and esoterism. The Quran says we have issued two seas that never mingle with one another. There is a partition between them and that is irremovable. That is in Surah Rahman 1920. David also refers to this partition. Deep calleth unto deep of the noise of thy water sprouts. All thy waves and willows are gone over me. That is in Psalm 42.7. When one of this contract, when requires a boat and boatman to ride over it, Moses met the boatman in person of Israel, and the boat was the boat of his spiritual training. This is the esoteric aspect. You cannot take it literally. When the boat reaches the other side of the river, there lived a king who confiscates all good boats. To save his ship, his to the spiritual guide, he springs a leak in it. This is how the whole of love in the bottom of humanity. Satan is unable to confiscate it. A leaky boat is of no good to him. In such a boat, humanity passes or transcends over to spirituality. Hizr and Moses, the Guru and the disciple, 
landed on the other side of the river in the country over which the tyrant ruled. His took hold of the youth, that is the desire, craving in Buddhist terminology and slew him outrightly. This youth in esoteric terms refers to nerves or desire body. In the second state of the journey, one has to kill his desire body. Unless desires vanish, there can be no progress. This demon in the shape of a you will be shadowing our steps. This is how these stories are created. The two then leaves this country and enters another. A country inhabited by plunders, no doubt, and a state of ruin. Here Hizr and Moses have to satisfy their creatures' comfort, but nobody could be given them a crumb of bread. Hizr, however, sets about repairing a ball, wall of eminent danger of falling. Under the shadow of this wall, two precious treasures lie buried, the treasure of prophetship and sainship. The two orphans refer to, in this country of plunderers, the wall of Sharia, the divine law, is protecting these two treasures. Under the protection of ceremonial institutions, the peace of the country was maintained. If the wall of Sharia collapsed, the two treasures would have fallen into unworthy hands. Hence, Sharia protects spiritual treasures or hakikat according to Islamic traditions. At the junction of the two oceans, Mazma al Bahrain upon the road, they found a servant from among the especially chosen servants to whom the divine authority had given mercy and had taught him direct knowledge. And the message goes on Behold the divine authority that is who encompass both past and the present in his infinite knowledge and no sentient being can attain a single thing of the secret knowledge except for what he wills. I can go on in various aspects of this. Where can his be found? How to recognize him? He can be recognized because he sits on a rock and is therefore as firm a rock in his thought. He is not a drifter sitting on a drifting sand whose viewpoints drift in whichever direction the wind is blowing, this or that. This, would you believe it? When we made a stop at the rock for the rest, and there on the rock they found the servant of mine, his, that is Surah Al-Khaf, 1863 and 65, mentions this. If, for example, the model of conduct of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, does not allow for men and women to shake hands or to embrace and kiss each other when gre greeting each other socially. And if a new universal religion and the way of life which makes it necessary or permissible for men and women to do so, his of such an age would stand firm on the road, refusing to confirm with such a sinful departure from the Sunnah of the Blessed Prophet. Those who, on the other hand, who sits on this shifting sand 
will constantly adapt themselves to conform to their conduct which requires of them even if this requires them to be trained hazrat aap paigambar sallallahu alaihi wasallam the two oceans or the ocean of knowledge externally acquired and the ocean of knowledge internally received and because he integrates these two oceans of knowledge into a harmonious whole his knowledge is creative and dynamic both he does not memorize this he spends the rest of his life repeating by rote the same thing over and over again like a parrot rather fresh knowledge and original thought flows from him like rain drops falling on a barren soil he teaches and lo even the barren earth becomes lush green and that is how he got the name his which means green means he is not teaching anything which is old according to the time circumstances and situation he presents which sufi says presents the old wine in a new bottle kabir on the other hand said to have a unique birth he was born of a hindu brahman and because of defamation that she was a married she floated the young baby into the river ganges which was recovered by the two people of the weaver clan niru and nima who were poor continued to make their living through weaving and they were childless niru and nima took this as the blessing and take took care of kabir whenever a person such an awareness is to be born a story has to be woven you will also recall when i had mentioned about the story written by dostoevsky where the god of death sent his messenger to collect the soul of a woman who was dying when he came on the earth to carry the soul of the body he saw a scene where the woman had died her husband has died long before and she has just given birth to two children who were suckling unaware of the fact that the mother was not alive and the other bigger child was lying nearby he felt compassion and he did not carry and then when he returns the god of death ordered him that he has to go back to the earth and only when he can laugh three times he has he has to com- he then he will be able to complete the punishment and will return to his original form he was god of death he could he did not need a human birth like anybody else and he appears himself by the road side when the cobbler was going in search of buying the clothes for the family as winter was approaching so in the same way the kabir's birth or that of others is presented but his consciousness was of a totally a different kind when you look at shankar men are ready to go into the grave and they have not 
transcended the physical boundaries of their intellect they are still lost into the deserts of his emotions shankar at the age of 8 wandering in himalayan mountains a cold wintry day whether it is cold winter or summer the himalayan mountain is always covered with snow and there he composed nirvan shatkam and explains that he is not the body mind and then he goes on that explanation which i will take probably in tomorrow's session to explain another question so kabir's birth has to be explained in that way it is not that we are creating this story is the existence wants something when it has to happen something deeper to manifest the circumstances and situations are created around when you look at the birth of buddha his mother maya devi was going to her parents house and she halted at the forest of lumbini where tall sol trees were there she took a stroll and there gautam buddha was born while she was in a standing position which is an unusual position for child's birth and it is said after the birth buddha took seven steps so when kabir was born in that way that to show that this person is not an ordinary one he is of a different kind ordinary child from the time of conception to birth takes 9 months between 7 some premature and 9 months a person of higher intellect higher understanding and spiritual awareness takes more than 9 months for conception to complete and it is said the gods if they have to take birth the conception completes in 12 months the process of the knowledge that has to be recapitulated before the child is born into the life comes into the life kabir defied everything he spoke in a language which was something in a very unusual upside down he says fish has climbed the tree fish never climbs the tree but he is capable of saying that and that is his way of explaining there is a fire in the ocean he is speaking in a mysterious tones mystical tones because kabir is at the level of consciousness and it has to be a connection between kabir and the ordinary man to make the words of kabir understood krishna was at that level his message could not be understood even the people at his time only arjun could understand because he was given that vision and the dhritarashtra dhrit means greed one who was blind because of his greed could not understand that message so it has to be deciphered by someone else it is said kabir lived in the ancient city and nearby was a place called magha it is said that if someone dies in that place he will not be able to attain to salvation this was a age old tradition kabir defied that by saying that let me see if one has to attain to 
salvation by being in a particular place or not. It is said by, it is the belief of Hindus that if somebody dies in the city, ancient city of Varanasi, then he will attain to salvation. And if someone dies in Maghar, which is nearby a village, will not attain to salvation. Kabir died in that place. He, during the last days of his life, he moved to Magha and that's where he left the body. So through this he showed that it is your own actions. We go on believing that this one is giving me problems, all my problems in life is because of this one or that one. This is how we have been trained. Everything the moment you accept the responsibility of all that is happening in your life is because of you. The doors are open for your progress and growth. And transcendence is possible only then when you accept the total responsibility of all that has happened or is happening in your life. Pain and pleasure, happiness and sorrow, good and bad, everything, not otherwise. And this incident is also, there was, Kabir had Hindu followers and Muslim followers. Muslim want to have the things his way, but because Kabir has lived a particular way of life, the existence Suppose, let us look at an organization. There is a person who is very intelligent, very much capable. His efforts have carried the business beyond all imaginative levels. If he makes a promise, all the people in that organization will make every single possible effort that it is fulfilled even in his absence. Kabir is part of totality. He has Hindu followers, he had Muslim followers. Hindus have their own way of cremation, Muslims have their own way of cremation. Existence has to create a miracle or sometimes it appears that it has happened. When the white cloth that was covering the body of Kabir was removed, there was flowers and they were shared among the two factions of the society and they cremated accordingly. Thus Kabir has two shrines, the Muslim shrine and the Hindu shrine. Both of them are maintained by the Hindu and Muslim factions. This is the way the existence works. Now if you look at, I take my example. There are people who come from Islamic traditions. There are people who come from Christian traditions. There are people who come from Hindu tradition. There are people who come from Sikh tradition. And each one has a particular way of understanding. So those who come from Sikh tradition, they want me to speak within the Sikh periphery. The Islamic people would want me to speak within the Islamic periphery. And if I do not speak within that, then I do not fulfill their criteria. So is the case of Hindus. They want me to speak about the Vedas, Upanishads, the Hindu way. But the awareness is beyond all these diversions, diversities. Yet there are people, to them it does not matter what I am speaking. What is more important that I am there and I am speaking. In the beginning it used to be that whenever I am speaking on a subject of their interest, 
they will attend to his session and when it is not so they will not attend the session but now after some time it has become it has reached to this position it does not matter to them whatever i speak it is important to them that i am there speaking to them explaining something and it broadens their horizon also that you understand the authenticity of the other traditions as well so through this example the kabir the existence is shown so that the muslims will have a equal faith in kabir and hindus have equal faith in kabir and he becomes the unifying factor between hindu and muslim ways if someone else says what kabir has said listening to the malvi early morning giving the clarion call for prayers he says is your god deaf why do you have to shout if any other person would have said a fatwa would have been issued against him but nothing had happened against him he lived during the time when there were disturbances between the two kabir represents the tradition of goraknath the ancient indian tradition which out of which emerged nath sampraday which is in a way for runner for acupuncture these people will pierce the strategic places in their body for the energy to flow out of the tradition of goraknath kabir was born out of the energy field of kabir was born the masculine energy of kabir is represented through nanak although the sikh tradition does not put kabir and nanak in the same category kabir is known as bhagat devotee and nanak has a higher status the followers of buddha do not accept mahavir as in the same category as that of buddha and so is the case of the followers of mahavir they do not put buddha in the same category as mahavir and the out of that a religion emerged the sikh religion the masculine energy of kabir manifested as nanak and the feminine energy of kabir manifested as meera the mystical woman who lived in near about the same time 13th or 14th century in this state and northwestern state of india known as rajasthan so when this question comes that kabir appeared to these in the process of growth if it is necessary that your growth is dependent on certain form of manifestations materializations it has to be done but this should not be used the way certain traditions do if you look into your life you will find that you have experienced moments like these in that case kabir and khizr appears to be the inner voice in the story of maujood kabir uh, khizr al salam appears as the inner voice to each one of each time that he met, meets maujood meets him that is a very beautiful sufi story of maujood and his meeting with khizr al salam when it is said to dharmdas to dadu kabir appeared kabir appeared as his intuition 
Sometimes when the master finds that the process of the growth of the seeker is hindered, direct messages are not reaching him, then indirect messages in the form of dreams, in other forms, are given to him. And unless and until something emerges from deep within you, it cannot help you to progress. If you are pretending, in order for the child's conception, the change has to take place within you, only then the growth of the child will become possible. And then you can give birth to a child, not otherwise. So for that reason, the Kabir manifestation or appearance to these was has to be seen and when you see these sometimes it is to create trust in you that existence works in a mysterious way when you look at how you all each one of you came in contact with me was it not a mysterious way? Look at yourself. Is it my doing? No. I have prepared myself and the rest is done by the existence. I don't do anything else. I am just doing what naturally comes to me. The flower has blossomed. When flower is blossomed, it is for the existence, those who are on the borderline, to create a coincidental meeting with such people. How do male-female relationship begins? Stars take place. These we call as mystical incidents. There is no way for something like this to happen, but existence wants it to happen. Somewhere or the other a connection is made. You are drawn towards that. Communion begins and journey starts. It is the responsibility of the existence to allow things to happen in a particular way. If you ask Kabir, did you appear to his to Dadu or Dharamdas? No. I do not even know. Someone said that he held on to the garb of Jesus and he said, You heal. He said, No, I did not heal you. It is your trust that has healed. It is your trust, it is your love that heals you. I am part of the existence. In my unmanifest form, it can happen in many ways, mysterious ways. But I am aware that this has happened. It happened many years ago. But it is for the persons to realize that when something, an incident happens and you remember the image of a particular master, that his God or existence or Khizr salam appears to you in that form as your inner voice, so that your process of growth may continue. The rest of the things there, what Rumi says, if Rumi says, Rumi is a master, Attar is a master, if he says so, let it be. What does it matter? Whether you gave me food or someone else gave me the food, but the food came from where? The divine, from God. Everything that comes to us it comes from one source, one substratum, 
the light comes only from the sun whether it comes through the the green panel of the window or the blue or the crystal clear it does not matter if someone says attar or rumi says that it is khizr al salam appeared to these are the different forms in which existence appears it is the existence that has the male aspect of the existence has appeared as husband to your wife as husband to your wife and it is the same feminine aspect of existence has appeared as woman to you in order for the continuation of the journey but it is the same thing i have heard there was a man who used to make wax toys very versatile he used to make different types of toys the elephant the tiger the lion the cat the dog mouse all of wax and used to make in different colors the business was thriving he had a friend of his own who used to come and help him at times whenever he had time then it happened this friend migrated and went some other place and he lived there for about 10 or 12 years then one day he returned to the hometown during this period many changes took place in the business strategies now the wax toys were replaced by modern day electronic toys and those were not selling he had a large stock of wax toys which were not selling his investment was there so it is said one day a thought came to his mind why don't i melt these wax toys and do something else so he took the melting pot put all the toys and got into the crude form of the wax the substratum of all those toys and he started using changes business strategies and started making the candles because christians use candles muslims use candles hindus use candles are very important and his business again that was on the dump side started growing again what is the difference between the lion and a tiger what is the difference between lion and candle all of these are made out of wax so when this friend came he was looking to see the elephant he was looking to see the same thing and he was very saddened when he came to know that his friend is a stopped making the toys of wax and he said where are all those elephants tigers and lions and cats and dogs he said they are all in this lump of the wax that is there because he melted them all now because of his imagination he is seeing the tail of a dog the trunk of an elephant the face of the lion in the wax raw material because this is what he has been capable of often and vision something like this happens you have a particular way you envision the reality according to your own understanding according to your own intellect but the substratum is the same the kabi out of that substratum khizr alay salam represents a fixed consciousness kabir represents in his physical form he represents 
a dynamic state of consciousness that can change. I have heard one day a woman came and he met Picasso. He said, I liked your painting so much that I gave a hug to your picture. Picasso said, certainly that was not me. If you had given me, a, giving a hug to my picture and me are two different things. So when a person is in the physical form, he is capable, his capabilities are of a different type. When something is not in the physical form, the movement is not there. That is a, a static state of consciousness and the dynamic state of consciousness. Sometimes the static state of consciousness is necessary. Sometimes the dynamic state of consciousness is necessary. Sai Baba manifested the dynamic state of consciousness by manifesting himself onto the dog that was available in the heat of the sun to reach to the door. One of the disciples of Sufi Brij Mohanlal, he said, Master, when I leave the body, I want you to be in front of me. Now it is the innocence of this man it is the love of this man the existence has to fulfill. Sufi Brij Mohanlal, it was evening time. He was another city, far away from the city where this particular person lived. And all of a sudden, while he was sitting down in meditation, everyone had gone, one person alone, who used to stay after the meditation, after the meditation is over, Sufi will continue his own individual Ghaibana Tavajju, where the people who are in different parts of the world, different parts, different areas, to them give them the Ghaibana Tavajju, the Tavajju or attention or the transfer of the energy field beyond the physical body physical presence. All of a sudden he closed his eyes and he said, Babu Ram Gopal Mayutra is no more alive. Babu is the name out of respect as we say Mr. or Sir. So he said, Babu, Mr. Ram Gopal Mayutra is no more. He closed his eyes. Ram Gopal Mayutra was on counting his last breath and he felt that the master has come he said, Guruji, you have come. It was my last wish that you be among, in front of me when I have to leave the world. Everyone, his son and the family, felt the presence of Sufi Braj Mohanlal. And then after staying for a few minutes, he said, I am in a rush today. You send the information about the other few aspects of the funeral process because the funeral ceremony completes in certain ritualistic ways. The 10th day ceremony, the 3rd day, the 13th day, Muslims celebrate the 40th day. So afterwards, a message comes that so and so my, this, the son of Mr. Ram Gopal Marutra wrote a letter stating that on this particular day my beloved father passed away and as was his sincere wish that his master be with him so Sufi was there and the dates for the funeral is like that when the letter was read he said, but he was sitting in meditation, Sufi Braj Mohanlal. Then the other person who was there to whom Sufi Braj Mohanlal said that Babu Ram Gopal Mahutra died, is no more. Then he said, he has mentioned at that particular night when we looked at the particular moment at that evening, when they looked 
at the time it was exactly the same time when Ram Gopal Mehrutra died and Sufi Braj Mohanlal said that Ram Gopal is no more. Sometimes things like these do happen in ordinary day-to-day -day life. So we have to look at these as the mysterious or mystical way of the existence. Whenever you need assistance in a mysterious way, the existence brings you in the company where you are supposed to be for the continuation of your soul's journey. It has nothing to do with you. If you look deep down how the associations happen, it is a mystical way only existence can do. So let us consider as these events as the mystical existence way of the existence for continuation of your the soul's journey. We'll continue. There is another question. How one can live with God on a moment-to-moment, day-to-day life? 